Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through. Ooh, you've got the Hierophant, Taurus energy coming through. You could have Taurus in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with one or somebody just who embodies this energy. All right, your person is showing up as the Ace of Crystals in re reverse. They're viewing you as the Seven of Crystals. Okay. You making this person wait, Leo, it feels like, right? What you're not seeing is the Three of Swords in reverse. This person's healing or they're holding back to heal. And you have the Four of Swords, okay? And we've got the King of Crystals in reverse, okay? So this person might be really focused on themselves right now. I do feel that they might be healing. It's possible from, you know, financially they're trying to recover from some sort of loss. Um, I also feel that this person... Um, they might be healing from some sort of accident, injury, or illness. You may or may not know about that. They are really worried, Leo, that they've missed an opportunity here, the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm hearing they feel like you're the one that got away. So the Hierophant Energy Taurus tells me that some of you, you were married to this person in a higher level of commitment with this person. But I love this because to me, it's an energy of compatibility. All right. And this person has never let you go or they're not they don't want to let you go depending on if you're talking or in your in separation or not. And we see the king of pentacles, yeah. But for some of you this person cuz what I'm getting is like they haven't been able to invest in this connection because of some sort of interference either work or their health. That's what I'm picking up on. Now, for some of you, it could be some sort of third party, like if they're married to somebody else or, you know, they they need to finalize a divorce or something like that before they can truly be with you. Remember, you know your situations better than I do, but I also feel like this person, they, they need to clear something up before you two can be together. And that has definitely caused some sort of separation, some sort of breakup, some sort of pause here. So they're worried they're going to miss this opportunity. Cancerian energy. They want to come towards you. They might even show up. Um, wow. Cancer Capricorn axis coming out. This person can't stop thinking about you. Um, this person, I feel like they might even like show up at your house, your home, your work, school, wherever you like to go out. But I also feel, too, that like they can't get you out of their mind no matter what they do. For some of you, this person may even drive by you know, your home or something like that. I, I don't get that it's a creepy stalker vibe, truthfully. Um, I just feel like this person, they're building up strength and courage to come towards you. They're holding back right now. They see you as the Seven of Pentacles, so maybe some of my Leos, you ask this person for some time. Um, they know that you're, they may know that you're patiently waiting for them. And for others of my Leos, you're keeping this person waiting. Wow. They want that to end. They want to make it up to you. I'm hearing they want things to be like they were before, or for some of you, if this is a newer connection, they want, they want things, they, they want to ask you out. They want to, they want to, they want to be with you. They want to work on this, but they're worried Leo that you're going to reject them. Like I said, for some of you, they've needed some time to heal something like finances or their health or they they weren't able to give to this connection the way they wanted to. And they're really worried they're going to miss this opportunity or that you're going to reject them or you're not going to be there when they get back or whatever it might be. And obviously you can you can swap that energy, but this person's really worried. They're very, very worried that you're going to that you're going to reject them or that, you know, they don't they miss this opportunity and what you don't see is the three of swords in reverse. This person is holding back. They're healing. They're healing from some sort of breakup or separation. For some of you, they've had like some issues with a business or a business partner that kind of came crashing down or was dissolved. Okay. And that might've been their life's work. It feels like it's a major tower moment here, but I'm also seeing with the two of cups, if you're in separation from this person, this person's really been doing a lot of work on the heart chakra. Um, and for others, they've, they were in another connection 
they needed to heal before they move forward. And I like that energy because this is somebody that doesn't want to just rush into things. All right. And they want a new beginning. They want something solid, stable, and secure with you. And they're going to make you that offer. So the Four of Swords tells me that, oh, you don't really have to do much. My goodness. So we had the Ace of Swords energy kind of flip out in reverse, but then it flipped out upright on my lap. So you're going to get some sort of communication. I do feel like it's going to be challenging whether or not to, whether or not you can trust this person, whether or not you want to give them another chance. If you want to move forward, are they ready? Are you ready? But with the Empress energy here, I feel like this is your energy, Leo, even though it's Taurus Libran energy, but hold yourself in high regard. This person knows who they're dealing with. They know that you are their empress or their emperor, however, however you may see it. Um, and they want another shot with you, either reconciliation and healing, or they just, they, this is somebody that really, they, there's a reason they can't invest in this connection right now. Yep. They're putting in a lot of work, eight of pentacles. Maybe they're working, you know, to like really recover financially. They may not have had the time or the energy to be in a relationship. Or like I said, for some of you, they've had some sort of devastating loss or or an, an investment that didn't work out. So they, they're definitely coming in. They want something solid and secure. Um, and it feels like what I like about your person's energy, Leo. I hope I've been calling you Leo and not Cancer. Because I'm looking at this Cancer card. If I did call you anything other than Leo, rest assured, I know I'm in the Leo reading. We just have a lot of energies coming through. We have Scorpio, we have Cancer, we have Capricorn, we have Libra, Aries energy coming through really strong. But what I'm seeing here, and Taurus. Wow, we have the Taurus-Scorpio axis and we also have the uh, Capricorn-Cancer axis. So really strong soulmates here. And we have this eclipse in Scorpio, this lunar eclipse on May 5th. So again, that might really be like propelling this person forward or, you know, propelling them or be the impetus for them reaching out and coming towards you. Um, all right. I hope that didn't just get confusing, Leo. All right. Let's see what else we need to know. But they are going to come in and make a solid offer. They want stability and security and they see you as their, as their queen or their empress. All right, let's see. And, and of course, that those roles can be reversed if you see yourself as a king or an emperor. All right, let's see. So a need to trust in the divine plan, regardless of the external. Yeah. And for some of you, there was some sort of detour here within this connection. But it doesn't have to be for others of you. It's just somebody new and they're just worried that, you know, they're not ready or you're not ready or that you're going to reject them. Yeah, so as I'm saying, that new love or a new phase in love is beginning. So for some of you, like I said, it's maybe a new person um, or it's a new phase. And guilt, shame, and deep remorse over past actions and words are hindering the situation. This person's healing something. They're healing something so they can come towards you. But look at that. Spirit saying, true love, this is a divine connection. Wow. Wow. All right. I'm, I'm happy with this. I am. I'm happy for my Leos out there. Um, all right, let's see. Clear messages and guidance for my Leos, please. Wow, look at that. This is a destined partnership. This is a divine connection. Woohoo, Leos. All right, let's see. And But don't dismiss the red flags. Yeah, and I feel like it's like... I feel like it's just really important that you make sure that you're ready, that you're healed, and that this person is as well. And remember, what's truly meant for you will never pass you by. So I feel like there there may have been or there may be a little bit of a timing issue here, okay? And there may be some interference. I don't really feel like this person's a player, though. Like, I don't feel like they're juggling. I feel more than anything like they're in the process of a divorce or separation. They just need to heal from that or make sure, you know, that's you know, behind them before they, they can really invest in you. And for others of you, it's like work or financial difficulties and possibly health issues that may be keeping them away. But look, spirit saying this is true love. The, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Boom. I love that. Leo, this is a beautiful reading. Beautiful, beautiful messages for you. All right, let's see what else my Leos need to know here, please. Clear messages and guidance for my Leos, please. All right, we've got the Amber Star, let go. 
I surrender and allow myself to grieve. So some of my Leos, you have let go of this connection, but it's coming back around. All right, for others of you, this person, they're letting go of something here so that you two can be together. And the shining star glow. I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. And we see this mirror here. So I do see that you two mirror each other in a lot of ways. But I also see my Leos. You've really, you've been going through a glow up because you've been working on yourselves. And um, a lot of you, you're just, you know, you're shining bright. You're attracting this person um, like a moth to a flame, right? And the little star divine. My inner child is whole and complete. So there's definitely been some inner child healing here. I also get energy of like the fool with this card in a sense that like there's a new, there's a new phase here. Um, and the visionary awake with an intuitive perspective. I see the bigger picture. So again, just really trust your intuition when it comes to this person, when it comes to the situation, don't ignore any red flags or don't sweep anything under the rug, Leo. Um, if it's somebody who's coming in for a renewal or reconciliation, um, you know, and it, and it feels like, it feels like you can really, really get on the same page with a little bit of elbow grease here. Um, and for others of you, this is a new person who's just healing, um, and they're on their way. They're on their way. Okay. So let's see what they would like to say to you. A part of me died when I let you go. Okay, so for some of you, this has, this is a, a reconciliation energy. Um, this is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish I could go back in time. Okay, and shame on me. I put others before you soon after I realized they were of no value to me. But I don't really get that. I, I don't really feel like this person's putting... I mean, I feel like they're focused on like healing from something or their finances before they come towards you. They may feel guilt for that. But for a lot of you, I feel like it's the right thing for this person to do so that they can come towards you whole and balanced. All right. So anyway, trust your intuitions, Leo. It feels pretty good from where I'm standing. Powerful connection here. All right, I'm going to leave it here, sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.